Hello and welcome to Karma's a Stitch. I'm Tanya and this is a channel where I talk about my knitting and my crochet projects that I have going on. I talk about other stuff sometimes, but pretty consistently knitting and crochet. If you are interested in getting in touch with me, all the ways you can do that are listed in the description box below. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, you guys, thank you. I have so many comments right now that I need to go in and respond to, and I have been so busy. And I just want you to know, I am going to get to that. I do read them as they come in. I just haven't had a chance to respond. And I am going to make that time here in the next day or so. Um, so thank you for taking the time to leave comments. I will respond to them. I have read them already, but I will respond to them. Um, I do my channel, my episodes a little bit differently. If you're new here, I have a, a plethora <laughs> of, of projects, of active whips, and I've got socks, I've got scarves, I've got wraps and shawls and blankets and sweaters and tees. I have a plethora, I have a variety. I have knitting and crochet, um, and sometimes it's really hard to decide what you want to work on. And I am pretty much in love with just about every project that I have in a project bag. So it's even harder when you're looking forward to working on different things. So what I do is I have an app on my iPad and it's a dice rolling app. You can choose how many dice you wanna roll, how many sides each dice is gonna have. And when you roll the dice, you tap the screen and it rolls the dice. Um, the first dice will tell me which cubby to go to. And when I say cubby, I am referring to uh, what I call my whip wall. And I've got this shel two shelving units that have uh, nine cubbies in each one. So I have 18 cubbies. So the first dice will show me which cubby to go to. And some of those cubbies have two projects in them. And so the second dice will say one or two, and that'll tell me which project I'm going to take off of my whip wall. And I will work on that for one week or until I finish that project. Now, last week I rolled my pressed flowers cardigan. And let me tell you, I was not disappointed. I thoroughly enjoy working on this pattern. I have enjoyed working, um, with this wool. I have loved watching this cardigan grow. Um, so I, I do want to share that with you. I, I seem to have dropped my needle stoppers. I just shoved it back in my bag earlier and I didn't put my needle stoppers back on. So got these cute little pink elephants. Make sure I don't lose any stitches off the tips of my needles. So I did have a progress keeper on here and that progress keeper is right here. And so this is how much I have done in a week all the way across. It's embarrassing to show you how all, how far all the way across really is because that would be the circumference of the garment I'm going to be comfortable wearing. <laughs> so I am in love with how this is turning out. This is so beautiful. Oh, so I'm very excited about this. I didn't make as much progress, but let me tell you, when you have a circumference like this, each row takes a little while um, and you're following the chart and you're slipping stitches and you're knitting stitches and it required a little bit more brain power. I didn't get to sail through it like I would have liked to, but I do feel good about it and I'm okay that it's not finished yet. Um, but right now we are going to roll the dice and we are going to see what we're going to work on this upcoming week. So, one second. Okay. 
A, don't have any apps open. Open a dice app and roll 16, two. Let's go see what that is. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We've got project one and project two. So we will go see what's in here. Okay, 16, two. Let's see what's in here. I kind of wish that this was something, considering it's October now, I wish it was something that has has been on my needles since the beginning of 2024. I don't think that it is. I don't know for sure which project this is. However, I know that I have some projects that I carried into 2024 and I'd really love to get a lot of those off of the needles. Um, I don't know how realistic that is at this point. Maybe next week I'll have an accurate count um, because in November we are going to be doing a whip roundup and we're going to go through all of my whip, all of my project bags and make sure that I still want to work on the what, what I have in there um, so that going into 2025, that feels weird to say, uh, going into 2025, <laughs> I have everything, I have nothing sitting there that I'm not excited to work on because I'm pretty confident whatever's in here, I'm going to be, oh, I just realized the project bag it's in. I know what it is. It was a birthday cast on for somebody. Um, yep. Yep. So I want to make sure that I am excited about everything that I have on my needles. And if I do the whip roundup, I know what I have going into 2025 is something I'm super excited about. So this is a project I cast on in July um, for Nancy, who's in our Zoom group, her birthday. And for her birthday, she asked us to cast on a Stephen West project in neon. I had literally weeks prior to that cast on a Stephen West project with all of my neon colors. And so with Nancy on Zoom one day, I pulled out some stuff I had in stash and I had and uh, Andy, where did that come from? Nancy, I had Nancy pick these colors. So, oh, yeah, I've done all right on this. So, there's my progress. This is the Meshy Twist. Looks like I just introduced the second color. Um, and so I've got color A. This is all I have left of color A, which I need to get familiar with the pattern so I don't want to misspeak, but I think I'm I'm doing a row or two with this one and then a row or two with this purple. This is just a part of the skein. And then my final color which will be, let's see if I can show a picture. Oh, that's right, this picture was horrible. My printer was going out of ink. Mm, I don't have a great picture to show. I'll see if I can get a picture. But if, if, I, if I insert a picture, that's a big if, if I insert a picture, <laughs> um, this next third color is what my trim will be along the edge of the shawl. So this will be on the edge. So I am excited about this project. I love a good Stephen West and what a great project to roll the dice and get right as um, his mystery knit along starts. So looks like I'll get a little bit of Stephen West here in October as well, um, which is excellent. 
I am gonna work on this this week. I'm very excited about that. This will be a fun one. Um, I do say that I'm not sure if I'll get a picture in because I'm gonna try to edit. It's Thursday night right now as I'm recording this. It's Thursday night. But tomorrow, I don't know that I'll, I have a, a medical thing that I have to go to. I don't have to. I have a medical thing that I get to go to tomorrow and I am going to be um, medicated for that appointment. So I will, um, I don't, I don't, I know that the beginning of the day will be heavily medicated, but as I start to feel better through the afternoon, I've got other plans with some friends and hopefully I don't embarrass myself. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow night about editing. So I'm ho I'm trying to get this edited tonight, but I don't know. It's uh, a quarter to 11 on Thursday evening. There is one other project that I wanted to share with you guys. And this is the Nanil Chick Swan Show that I'm doing as a sample for a friend of mine. She is the yarn dyer behind Inner Yarns In. And she wanted this Swan Show um, done in her wool. Uh, to wear to a festival at the end of October. And she she put out a thing. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you've already heard this story. I don't know if I shared it last week or not. But she put out a thing in Facebook. And she's just like, I would love to have a sample in my yarn of this project. Does anybody want to knit it for me? And I, it looked like such a fun project. But it's not something I would ever wear. Uh, it's just not my style. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it would take for me to wear a swan show. It would take some stuff for me to wear a swan show. It's just not my style, um, which is okay because I have friends who dye yarn who want to wear a swan show and they're willing to let me knit it with their glorious, their glorious wool. So here is my progress on my friend's swan show. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I don't know where it was last week when I showed it to you guys, um, but I will put a progress keeper on here because my goal is to have this to her by the end of, um, the. I think it's the last week of October and I think it's totally doable while I also work on whatever project I rolled that week. So I am thrilled to have this opportunity. Like truly, I need to find a progress keeper that I don't mind. Um, oh, you do. I don't like the ones. See, I get these sometimes. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, this will be a perfect example. You see the fuzz at the end of this? I know. Can you see the fuzz? There's fuzz. Here. There you go. You see the fuzz stuck to the bottom of that? That's because it was stuck to my project. So these little bits down at the bottom of a stitch marker snag my work and it drives me bonkers. So even though I love this part, I love the, the eye here that has the, the lobster clasp. I do like that, but at the end of it, this part, it's so rough. I don't like using them. So I will use good old reliable, my light bulbs, and I will mark my progress for this. Um, yes, yes, I will. Where did my other... There we go. Okay. So we will put this progress keeper on the swan show. So next week, you guys can see what I've accomplished during the week on this. So there we go. I changed out the, the black bit. I just used the black light bulb with my little horse-drawn carriage. So 
there we have it. There's my progress on the Swan Show. I showed you my pressed flowers card again. I am gonna work on my meshy twist this week and I hope everybody is doing amazing and I will respond to comments. I'm gonna say by Saturday afternoon my time um, cause it's late here now. I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, but it will be my priority for Saturday, you guys. So I hope everybody's doing good and I'll see you all soon. Bye.